let's have a look at some general background and, and information that we need to carry on with this topic. So we need so there are some situations where we know what the theoretical probability is. So for example, if we have ourselves a coin or a dice and we are tossing that coin or dice, then we know that, for example, a dice has got six sides. The chance of getting any one of those sides, that probability, the theoretical probability, is one out of six. But there are other situations where we don't know what the theoretical probability is. So what is the probability that you wake up at seven o'clock tomorrow morning? Well, it all depends. And the best thing that we can do is collect a bunch of data to try and estimate that probability. So this is what we're looking at for this topic. So we've got some tools that we can use. So we've got a coin, obviously two sides, the chance of a head or tail, 50-50. We've got dice. Now we've got a standard dice, and I've got a little um, net here showing you the standard six sides where there's one number on each side. But remember, you can get other dice. You can get 12-sided dice, 10-sided dice, 4-sided dice, and so on. Spinners. So we can design or make a spinner with as many different categories as we want. These particular examples there show that they're equal categories, but we could have a spinner where um, they're not equal size. Okay, so I could have different shapes and different areas for different um, probabilities if I wanted. We've got our pack of cards. So each pack of cards, we've got four suites or suits I should say and so oh come back here so for example if I look at the top row there those are all my hearts and in that suit it's a red suit there are 13 cards in that heart and that suit going from two all the way through to ace okay so we've got two red suits two black suits and all together we've got 52 cards we can also do random number generation and our calculators do this and spreadsheets do this, so we can use those tools if we need them. So some of the language of probability, well, all probabilities have to go between um, zero, down the bottom, okay, and one at the top. So a probability of zero means it is impossible, it is never ever going to happen. So that's like the chance that um, I have three legs. The probability of that is absolutely zero, I do not have three legs. Okay, whereas a probability of one is something like that's always going to happen. It's absolutely certain of that it's going to happen. So it's absolutely certain um, that um, I'm speaking on the phone. Okay. Or absolutely certain that the sun is going to rise tomorrow. Okay, and so things in between, we can use those as estimates. Now, if I'm dealing with probabilities, I can write them either as decimals or as fractions or as percentages. So if I had a probability, say, of 0 0.3, I could write that as 3 over 10, or I could write that as 0 0.3, or I could write that as 30%. Okay, any of those are acceptable. 